Assalamu alaikum fam, hope you're doing well. So I'm doing some laundry, I had some ideas, and I wanted to share some ideas with you that tie into many of the things that I've mentioned before on this channel, is about how you should leave the cities and embrace the farming lifestyle. People are talking about bare shelves by them. So essentially complaining that there's not enough food on the shelves. So one solution is this that we have is to start growing your own crops in your yard. So you plant a peach tree, lemon tree. If everybody plants something in their yard, starts giving out food to their neighbors for free, we foster a community of food. We can go against such measures of starvation, right? And you may say, well, what does one tree do? Well, one tree over the years, you know, can give you many apples, can give you many things. So we have to start though, that's the thing. And some food is better than no food, right? We have to stop always depending upon the grocery stores and supply chains. Because as we've seen, Pete Butt Stuff, Pete Buttigieg, the transportation dude who is unqualified for his position is really failing in fixing a lot of the issues around the ports in San Francisco and other places in the country. He is just a terrible politician and we have to start waking up to how the liberals encourage us to actually be weaker. They want you to be dependent on the grocery stores when in the past the real kind of like leftists used to really be about organic farming they were very connected to uh co-ops like they they were really off-grid people that was one thing they had in common with the rugged conservatives in the rural areas but how that has changed is now the city liberals have really made it posh to just order doordash all day right and they don't go to nature, they stay inside uh, vlogging on their little computer, doing substack articles, things like that. And really thinking Whole Foods is always going to be there, or Trader Joe's. So what we can do is to slowly start saving money to go out to the suburbs. If you have a backyard or a front yard, start you know planting things. Maybe have a hydroponics garden, you have a fish tank. You can grow plants in there. There's so many different ways to utilize the space you have. But the more we start growing our own food, having chickens to get our own eggs, having our own dairy cows and dairy goats, and really focusing on food security, making things at home, we can definitely not be affected by the bare shelves. Now, a lot of conservatives have sponsorships of food buckets, emergency food supplies, stuff like that. And we can do that as well. And leftists often mock people who have that type of promotion stuff on their channels. They like make fun of it. Oh, you need emergency food supply? It's really insane. I think you'll probably notice that like, I'm not even gonna say the other, the YouTubers names, but they constantly mock conservative channels that have you know, emergency food supply stuff for sale. And I think this is ridiculous, you know? You want to have, a, like, emergency food. Food that is good up for 20 years. And some people even do reviews of those foods. And some even buy some of the military foods, like that the soldiers eat, and eat it and taste it and encourage people to have a supply of this. This is, like, very kind of prepper mentality, but it's also very important, right? Again... We have to make sure that we're not copying the leftists, the liberals who are very soft city people and who think electricity will always be there. There'll always be Uber, there'll always be police, there'll always be this net. When so many nations throughout history have fallen into chaos, certain regions have been susceptible to riots, uh, the age of cyber hacking and cyber warfare, literally no one understands what can happen sometimes and no one can predict the future so we should not become soft complacent docile domesticated we don't become paranoid but we also become aware and prepared 
and efficient with our tactical approach to problems that can come and to have solutions ready at hand for others and for ourselves and for the sustainability of our families. So while people are complaining about not enough food in the stores in some areas and stuff like that, this is a good time for people to start looking into food security and how you would do that and then encouraging uh, public areas where there can be places of urban gardens, right? So you yourself, maybe, you go plant a tree on your own, right? You sow seeds that produce some type of sunflower, right? You eat sunflower seeds. You never know. Maybe you have a wild pumpkin patch. Who knows? You, you get creative with it. Help support the local bee population as well. Again, we have to really start focusing on food security and create dynamic solutions for that. And maybe you can also learn how to get your hunting and fishing license. It's really easy. You can take classes in person. You can take classes online uh, because most places you have to have a license to fish and then start educating yourself on that. And then doing things like cheese making, maybe connect with your local farmer, buy some raw milk and make fresh mozzarella whatever we can do to kind of really get back into traditional skills that are outside of the city grid that really make us self-reliant just like our grandmothers and great grandmother generations had we're losing that and it's time for the youth to get back connected with that they know how to do editing for TikTok, but they don't really know how to poach an egg so we're losing practical skills while people know how to do things that are interesting but not the same so let me know what you think and what ideas you have.